Maya 2023.2 just came out, and this is the feature I'm most excited about as an animator. Let's take a look. So I've got a walk cycle here, and I wanna show you this cool feature. If you know about Maya, then you know the new features are usually denoted by a little green bracket. And you can see a little green bracket in the graph editor right here. So if I click that, it's gonna to toggle open this whole new menu. It looks kind of gibberish and not super useful and overly technical, but it's very cool what they just released and gave you the ability to adjust. So let's say I wanted to have a bit more ease out on this keyframe. First, I would need to weight that tangent, and then I would need to pull it out. If I only wanna pull out the right side, then I need to break it, and then I can pull out only the right side. Now you might notice this number is changing as I do that. And you may have noticed if I back up and hit Control Z enough, that as soon as I weighted it, this number turned from one to what it actually was. Because we can see even though when the tangents aren't weighted, that they look similar. That tangent handle is equidistant from the other, from the keyframe. But when I weight it, you can see the tangent handles change. So this thing is doing a couple things. It's showing us what the real value is when we auto tangent something and tangents are weighted. And then it also gives us the ability, if we break this too, that we can adjust these individually and say have more ease out on this side. Now, why I'm super excited about this, here is the reason, because if I'm animating, especially in a cycle, and I do an adjustment like that, and I'm working, and then I realize I didn't do it to the other side. There's something where I needed to make that tangent handle adjustment to the other side. I wouldn't be able to do that. I would have to kind of guesstimate on how this looks and where the length of this. I would have to do the same thing over here on its own and just hope for the best. And I'm just kind of guessing how long this tangent handle is and kind of think, okay, that kind of looks like that one, but I don't know that those are exactly the same, right? Now I can make these exactly the same. This is why I'm super stoked and this is such a cool feature. I can see this is a value of two as an out tangent handle. So then I can go over here and take this and make that two. Now I know for certain these tangent handles are the same. This is a super cool feature. I didn't even really know I wanted <laughs> until it just came out today. Normally when there's like a point whatever Maya update, there's not much that changes that's significant to, especially to animators. But this is uh, really exciting to see a new feature in the graph editor like this. You might be wondering then, what is this other box for? What is this box for? Well, that's kind of like an angle symbol. So we can assume that this means the tangent handle angle. So you can see 50 is very dramatic. So we can adjust this from zero to whatever, and we can type in the number here. You can also say plus equals and add to whatever. So if we say we have four here and we want to make it you know, two less, we can say minus equals two and it'll make it be two. And again, that's just a very accurate way that we can compare the angle of tangent handles just as much as the weight. It's very difficult to know if tangent handles are matching the same angle over here. Now that we know what the value is on this side, we can also make this angle the same. So now we know that these are positioned exactly the same and we don't have to move them together. So you can see why I'm excited about this feature. It's really cool. If you wanna learn more about animation as a career, I currently have a webinar up that teaches you all about getting into the animation industry and if you should at all. It teaches the pros and cons and things to know before you even take your first step on this journey. So check out animatorsjourney.com if you wanna learn more from me and the link in the description for the webinar. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.